Hello, my name is Terry White, Worldwide Design Evangelist for Adobe Systems, and it's my pleasure to walk you through what is Creative Suite 6 Design Standard. I get this question a lot. Well, what's the difference between Photoshop or Illustrator, especially if these folks are new to our applications or they're just coming up in the design world? So Photoshop, for example, is the industry standard photo manipulation tool. Think of working with pixels, the kind of images that come from your digital camera. Illustrator for vector illustrations, people that draw, normally with mathematical lines and curves, things that are resolution independent. And lastly, InDesign for putting it all together on a printed page or for digital output. Let's take a look. I have a photo here with some objects in it that I would like to remove, and Photoshop is great for that type of task. So for example, using my patch tool, I can go ahead and make a selection around what looks to be a wall outlet here. And I'm just going to go ahead and select it and drag it to another area of the photo that doesn't have the outlet. And as you can see, like magic, Photoshop removes it and blends it in. Now I'll switch over to the spot healing tool. And I have some spots here on the wall. I'm sure they were naturally there on the concrete, but they're distracting in my photo. So I can just simply paint over those and Photoshop will blend those in nicely and remove them for me. Even the ones that were close to our arm. So as you can see, Photoshop is really about manipulating pixels. You can get all the way into the pixel level to remove or adjust pixels in a photograph. Now, if that's Photoshop, then what's Illustrator? That's the question people usually ask. Well, let's head over to Illustrator. And in Illustrator, it's all about vector illustration, drawing with mathematical lines and curves. So in Illustrator, it's all about vector illustration, creating objects with mathematical lines and curves. So for example, you can take something like the pen tool and you could trace or draw around objects and create vector resolution independent graphics. Whereas a photograph has a distinct resolution and it can't really be larger than its original size, vector illustrations can be scaled to any size and maintain their quality. So for example, I have an illustration here that was nicely drawn. And what I'm going to do is just simply increase the stroke weight, the size of the lines. Let's go to about 10 points there. We'll now switch over to the gradient tool. And with the gradient tool selected and the object selected, we'll just tell it that it has a linear gradient. Now you notice it's going from white to black and it's kind of doing this new Illustrator uh, CS6 thing where it actually gives me a gradient stroke all the way around it. I can even apply a variable width pattern to that so that I get variable width gradient strokes. And of course, I can double click on any of those color swatches or add new ones and change the color. So now it's going from blue to black instead of white to black. We'll change the black one as well to make it maybe a different color or shade of blue. And there is my illustration. So I can at any time continue working on this. And at the end of the day, if we switch to preview mode, it's just one simple series of lines versus uh, a photograph which would be pixels. So we'll go ahead and save that and now we'll head over to Adobe InDesign. And in InDesign, this is where it all comes together. So think of InDesign as the final stage. You've worked on your photographs, you've worked on your illustrations, and now you want to lay out your final document. That's what InDesign is all about. So it's about the combination of text and graphics. So I've got uh, a nice text object here. I'm just going to go ahead and put that on the page where I want it to be. And then we have some frames, some empty frames that will contain the photo that I worked on in Photoshop and the illustration that I worked on in Illustrator. So let's go ahead and bring in that photo. So I can either bring it in a variety of different ways. I can choose place. I can use bridge, which is a part of the Creative Suite. But let's use a simple place command. And we're in the same folder where I save things. So we'll go ahead and bring in the photograph. And the photograph comes in nicely, but as you can see, it came in too close to the top. We don't want a head cut off. So we can just simply reposition that directly inside of InDesign. And we get a nice little preview as we're doing it, so we know exactly where it's going to be. Now that I have that there, we're going to go ahead and select the next frame. And this is where we're going to put our illustration. So once again, we'll just do a simple place command. We'll grab that Illustrator file. We'll bring that in. And as you can see, our page is just about ready to go and we can continue building more pages and working on this document. So if you look at Design Standard or Creative Suite 6, it's about bringing the best elements together from your design workflow, 
whether it's working on photographs, taking objects out, adjusting the photographs, working on vector illustrations, creating logos, creating typography effects that can't be done in the other applications, and then InDesign, putting it all together for the printed page or digital output to tablets. That's what the workflow is all about. So I hope you enjoy Creative Suite 6 Design Standard. Now you know the difference between each of the major applications in the suite and what they're best suited for.